In this video, I will share some tips and tricks on how to do deep powder overlay on short nails with Azure Beauty Deep Powder Kit. I'm going to do it on myself with my non-dominant hand, so it's going to be fun. Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's start with unpacking. As usual, we have Deep Powder Kit by Azure Beauty, and I love that they showed what the color is going to look like with one, two, or three layers, and it is always different from the color of the powder itself. We also have a manual, and now let's open up the powder. Each jar is 10 grams and have protective seal. This kit also includes base, Activator, this is the one we are going to use next. Step number three is top coat. And finally, we have brush saver in case something happens to your brush from the base coat. We also have this soft fluffy brush to remove the excess powder, pusher, and a block buffer. We will need that for the nail prep. This container is super helpful for fringe nails, for nail art, and for extra powder. We also have a nail file and some extra brushes if the one gets ruined eventually with a base coat, which happens sometimes if some parts of the powder get into it. Today I will be working on myself with my non-dominant hand, so we are going to see if this is actually so easy so you can do it with your not comfortable hand as well. I had tips, so I'm going to use e-file to remove this because this is the fastest way for me. It's been a while since I had any kind of overlay on my nails. Normally I did different kinds of extensions and I can hardly remember when I had deep powder overlay on myself, so this is going to be some sort of a new experience for me. After product removal, it's time to do the prep, so I'm pushing back the cuticles with orange wood stick. And I think you can tell if you watched any of my previous videos how weird it looks when I'm doing this, because even though I'm doing my nails for a very long time now, it still feels less comfortable compared to when I use my comfortable hand to do the nails. Dip powder is one of the easiest ways to do overlay, that is true, but it's still important to do the prep. It doesn't matter what you're about to do gel polish, extensions, soft gel tips, or deep powder, you need to prep your nails really well. Most times, whenever I receive different questions or pictures from you with the questions like why my nails didn't last, in 85% of the cases, there was something wrong with the nail prep. After dry manicure, I will be using block buffer, which is, I assume, 180 grit, which is exactly what we need for the nail prep, and take off the surface shine. I just removed the product, so I don't really need to do that on the entire nail, but near the cuticle they were outgrown, so we need to do that. Also make sure that you get rid of some product residue, and if you were filing and shaping nails, also make sure that there is nothing stuck underneath the nails. Now we have clean nails ready for an overlay, let's do it. I picked purple and lilac shades because I like them so much, and there are some with the glitter. First, I apply the base coat, and you should not apply too much, but at the same time, make sure that you do not have any empty spots. And also do not touch the skin, because the powder is going to get there. And then I'm going to dip into the jar. I'm using, let's say, traditional dipping method, because I'm working on myself, and I do not have any intention on using these powders on someone else. But when I'm working with clients, I prefer a different method for a few reasons. First of all, when I'm doing this myself, I can control my own finger and I'm totally aware of how am I dipping it into the jar. When you are dealing with another person, it's not that easy, so it's better to take some powder and apply it on top. This color is truly different when you apply the second coat. You will see it in a few seconds. So I decided to apply another one because it's a bit transparent when we apply just one. So I wait for a couple seconds and then remove the extra with a brush. Now we can see that this is like a dark purple with silver glitter. It looks even better compared to what it looks when it's just the powder. So I decided to use different colors and also we will do something like an ombre. But first we need to do the background. So I apply base coat, dip into the powder, do not rush, but make sure that the nail is fully 
covered with the powder. Then I clean some extra and I love this brush. It's so soft and fluffy and it's not scratching the surface. I was going to use this color as the background and then I will use another one slightly darker to apply more glitter on the free edge. And I will be using another tip to apply it. And then I just go a little higher so we will create some kind of the fade. I don't want to cover the cuticle area with the glitter, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Then I wait for like five seconds and remove the excess powder. Perfect! One of the advantages of using deep powder system is that you do not need an LED light and I am not going to use it today at all. Everything is air cured, so it's going to cure just on air. Another advantage that it's super fast. As you can see, I just apply one coat and then the second, so the whole service does not take more than one hour. The most important part of the deep powder overlay is definitely the prep, how well you prep the nail. If you do it well, the overlay is going to last. And second is how you apply the base coat. Like I said, do not apply too much, do not touch the skin and make sure that the layer is even because if you apply too much base coat on the free edge, then you will have more powder on this area and the surface of the nail is not going to be even and you will have this extra bump. And the same thing if you apply too much near the cuticle. We definitely do not want more volume near the cuticle. I would say base coat application is very similar to applying regular nail polish. Just try to apply it as even as possible. And then dip into the jar. I decided to use this lilac color for my pinky because it matches with the set pretty well. And for my ring finger, I'm going to use another purple color. I really like how my glitter nails are looking. It seems like this is not some kind of ordinary glitter because it reminds me of the light reflective glitter a little. If you accidentally touch something or if you didn't apply the base coat really well, you dip it into the powder, you take a look and then you realize that there is something wrong with the surface. You can fix it, but you need to do it super fast because you have a few seconds to fix it like I just did now. There was some product missing on the free edge, so I fixed it right away. And if you're not completely happy with the color or with the surface, there's always second coat which can fix it. So if you missed the spot, make sure you will not miss it on the second coat. After applying the base coat, I dip it into the jar immediately, take it off, wait for two or three seconds, and with a soft brush, I remove the excess powder. This is it. Now we need to cure it, but like I said, we're not going to use LED lamp or something. I will be using an activator. And if you get confused which product do you need to use from this kit, they have these numbers on them. So the base coat is number one and you will always know that activator should come second. Apply it onto the nail so they're going to look like they're wet, that's totally normal, and wait for around two minutes. When you apply the activator, make sure that you apply it on the entire nail. It's pretty easy to tell because they're going to look like you just washed your hands and do not miss any spots. If you noticed some imperfections on the surface, on the free edge, do not worry, we are going to fix it right after it cures. Two minutes, we are done. And this is what I recommend you to do every time. First of all, you need to file the free edge because it doesn't matter how well you apply the powder, this line is always going to look so uneven after the powder. So if you slightly file it with a nail file, it's going to look so crisp and the shape is going to be on point. And finally, I recommend you to bob the surface all the time. Even if you did it super well, the application is super smooth, the grains of the powder will still create this unevenness on the top, you will still have these little bumps from the powder. And since we're going to use an air cure top coat, the nails are not going to shine so well. So this is my trick for super shiny nails, even when you are doing deep powder overlay. Make sure you buff them really well. 
then we may wash our hands if we want to and finally apply the top coat. I usually apply two coats, but it's important to cure the first one really well. You need to apply it like you normally would apply a regular nail polish top coat. Wait for a couple minutes until it's fully cured and then apply the second coat. But please do not apply a thick coat because it is going to cure forever if you do. It feels so weird to see my hand with such short nails. I can hardly remember when I did them so short lately. I usually had extensions, sometimes I had longer ones, sometimes they were shorter, but I don't remember seeing them so short. It's like not even my hand. Let me know if you can relate when you've been doing extensions for so long, then you see your hand and it just looks weird. After applying the second coat, you also need to wait for two to three minutes and we are done with an overlay. All the links to the products that I used will be in the description box as usual. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials and product reviews, just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.